everyone. It's Anastasia Grace here, transformational coach, NLP practitioner, and my video today is about five ways to increase your confidence. I'm gonna give you some tools and I'm gonna share some information with you. Uh, but before we jump into the ways how to increase uh, or boost your self-confidence, let's look at the definition of the confidence to understand it. What, where does it come from? Wikipedia defines confidence as a state of being clear-headed uh, that your hypothesis or prediction is correct, that, the, that your chosen action is the most effective. Basically, it comes, uh, confidence comes from trust. Basically, self-confidence means trust in yourself, that your choices are correct, that you trust yourself. It's a feeling of trust in your abilities, qualities, and your own judgment. And uh, self-esteem is also closely connected to self-confidence. Uh, because self-esteem is defined as confidence in own uh, worth or abilities and self-respect. So those are very, um, as you can see, um, connected and they kind of start affecting each other. If we don't have trust in ourselves and trust in our own judgment that d uh, brings down our self worth and then furthermore reduces uh, trust in, in um, abilities and also brings down self-respect. So it kind of spiral down, isn't it? <clears throat> and sometimes you might feel um, less confident, say, in new situations that you have not been before they are unfamiliar so you don't have a proven record of your success so that's where you should self confidence can be can be can be shaky or on the opposite when you have a memory bad memories of past failures or uh, you didn't achieve a certain result and that will affect your self-belief self-trust uh, and hinder it NLP has a great presupposition that I absolutely love. It says, there is no failure, only feedback. And it helps us realize that failure is not an outcome, uh, but it's just a part of process. You just do something, you try it, and you receive the feedback. Okay, that's not, that's not the right path, you know? Uh, I love the saying by Thomas Edison, I haven't failed, I have just found 10,000 ways that don't work. So that gives a different perspective in regards to confidence, isn't it? Um, especially moving forward with something new uh, and very relevant to business journey, entrepreneurial journey, which is always consists of up and down. Um, when you look into this new endeavors from this perspective, you can remove self-judgment and you can remove self-criticism and you can attempt uh, your um, trials and, and, and challenges and new turns in your life and in your career much, much easier. I absolutely love the tool that we use in NLP, which is called parts integration. Parts integration is the process that allows to improve congruency in, 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 in the human being and also kind of brings the conscious and unconscious together and also allows to eliminate un, unwanted behavioral patterns. For example, if you're thinking to yourself, oh, to yourself, a part of me really wants this new career, this new position, but a part of me is really scared and or you are sabotaging it. Or for example, a part of me wants to impact the world, but another part of me is very scared of speaking publicly or scared of being visible uh, or has a fear of being judged or just, just, just wants to hide, you know, and doesn't, doesn't want to do much. So in, in our lives, we can quite often come to this realizations that, you know, we are torn apart by 
I want this but. And part integration allows to bring uh, this parts of you uh, into alignment with your true life purpose mission. It's an amazing process. I absolutely love it. Another technique that we use in NLP to remove unsupportive beliefs and behaviors uh, is the timeline therapy. It allows to resolve all those uh, unresolved emotions and believe them past and kind of you know get rid of the past whatever the baggage you have collected it can be um, released and removed the anxieties phobias insecurities um, and that will propel you in your future success uh, and in personal and your professional life saying all this i would like to give you those five simple techniques that you can implement right now without a professional practitioner by your side. Uh, you can do it for yourself. First one is absolutely love it is forgiveness exercise and I use Haponapona quite often or I just you know I do clearing process I I forgive myself I connect to myself I dropped into this pure forgiveness and, 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 and uh, compassion with myself and do the inner child work uh, when I need to let go of the past regrets, you know, past failures, something that I haven't done and uh, or have done and I'm not so proud of it and that could hinder my, uh, my success into the future. I use uh, the forgiveness a lot and it's, it's huge, it gives you huge release because it's really hard to move forward when you have a big baggage of heavy, you know, bag of stuff on your back. Second one is try living your life as a game. If you stop taking your life so seriously and you remember how in your childhood you felt like this whole life is just created just for you so you can explore, you can have fun, you can test things out, you can learn more things and you didn't think too much about the failure or how confident or non-confident you don't you look, uh, how good you look. You didn't worry about all of that, did you? So what if you approach your life right now as a game that you're playing and imagine yourself being a gamer rather than being that avatar that kind of all lost confused in the little box that you're actually a gamer and you can navigate this life much much easier number three physical exercises definitely connecting to the body connected to our body our physical state will um, boost your confidence it's just cannot not try pumping some iron and you will see how freaking confident you're gonna come out from the gym going like I can take on the world because it's not only changes our chemistry our dopamine ser serotonin um, b b increases which gives you more optimistic view on life more more positive view on yourself but you also connect to your body you ground uh, better your heart your heart is pumping your blood is pumping uh, endorphins are rising you in that moment naturally st start feeling more confident and if you've seen any videos of Tony Robbins or you have been to his events you, you, you he, he big big thing that he always says is change your state and usually he changes through physical through physical physicality going like yes and wow oh, and pump um just shifting your own state uh, will will give you that boost of confidence number four become your best friend become your best supporter ditch the self-abuse because we are getting lost quite often in self-judgment self-abuse and i mean how confident can you be when you have a you know little attacker right here in your brain who can constantly bashes you um, criticize you judges you and said tells you how wrong you do things and how much more confident you will be if you have a best friend here 
your best supporter, your best cheerleader, going like, you go, girl. Yes, you got this, man. Uh, you, you, you know, I, well, no matter what, I'll be here. I'll support you. You are a winner for me. No matter what happens, I will love you. Uh, even, you know, if you mess up the big, um, <laughs> big way, I'm still going to be here then you don't feel alone, you feel supported. And when we feel supported, we are much more confident. Don't seek the support from the outside, give it to yourself and feel the difference. And number five, train your brain to calm down and relax. If you are prone to overthinking, to worry, to you have you deal with anxiety in your life then it is a must for you to learn and to train your brain to calm down uh, if, to become a master of your brain your mind there are many techniques out there that you can do at home by yourself progressive relaxation um, self-hypnosis meditation slow breathing there are massive amount of resources out there right now for you to cope with everything you, you you deal with on a daily basis, all you need to do is just to want to want it and feel that you can. I hope that helps. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Good to see you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.